So when I first got this kit, one of the things I was really intrigued by was this little um, chipboard cutout. Um, I was thinking it would be a really cool cover for a mini book or maybe a frame for something. And um, after I started playing with it a little bit, I decided that it would be really cool if I could make this into a stencil that would map multiple pictures um, and trace it. So I'll show you how to make two different size stencils um, and come up with a mat uh, that I used on the page right here. So this project is very similar to those uh, cutout snowflakes you used to make in school. You start with two different um, scrap pieces of paper. Um, one's going to be for the mat and one's going to be a template for the actual photos. And You're going to trim them down to the proper size. So in this case they're going to be the mat is going to be 7 by 11 and the template for the actual photos is going to be 6 by um, 10 and 3 quarters. Once you've got them both trimmed down, so I have this folded in half once and then I'm going to fold it in half again so that it'll be end up being in four pieces. So making sure you have the loose corners out here, you're going to put your, whatever you're going to trace as a template on top. And I'm going to trace these round corners right here in this side right here in the corner. I'm going to trace the round and then I'm going to use half of the point on this end and I'll show you what that looks like. So now that I've drawn the rounded end over here on this side and half of the point I'm just going to draw a line connecting the two and then I'll start cutting that out to make my template. So now I have my line connecting the two halves that I've traced and I'll have to cut it out. So now that I've trimmed out my edge if I unfold it, you'll see that I have my piece that's going to be my template for my photo mat. And there it is. All ready to go. And every corner will be matching and evenly spaced because we folded it up first and I can trace it onto the paper. My next step will be to cut the smaller one to actually make the template for cutting the photos down so the photos will have the same edge as the mat. So to create my frame, I think I will start by cutting a piece out of the background um, and using it to overlay for my frame. And I'll just grab my cutter for that. Because I know that the piece I want um, has to be 11 inches by uh, 7 inches, um, I've moved the ruler down so I'm going to cut a piece right out of the center. So now you can see that I have my piece cut out of the center. We have the polka dots for the background, and on the other side we have the solid um, that I'll cut my frame from. Taking the stencil, I'll lay it on top and then trace it out and cut it out for a frame. And now I'll be able to cut that out with my scissors um, and have a mat for my photos. And here we have our gorgeous frame, all trimmed out, ready for photos. Taking the smaller of the two stencils, I'm going to use some tape and kind of take some of the sticky off and put my photos right on top of the mat so I can trim them to match the smaller shape. You can see how I have temporarily adhered um, the first two photos um, to the stencil. And I'm just going to lay this last one on here and turn the whole thing over. So now with all three photos adhered to the stencil, I'm going to flip it over and you can see the edge where I'm going to end up trimming the photos to match the bigger frame. So now you can see on the back of the photos where I've traced out the stencil and I'll cut them out as well. And now that I've trimmed out the photos you can see how great they match in the frame. Just have to adhere them down and I have my focal center of my scrapbook page. And so now to complete my layout um, I've trimmed the two edges um, from both of these adorable owl sheet pages and from this um, stripe paper I've trimmed two strips that will make the um, top and bottom of the scrapbook page ready to put it together. So now we take our original base um, with our matted photos and I'm going to line up my stripe paper along the bottom and my grid paper along the top and lay my scallop strip along the top and the bottom 
I'll have to trim these down in a second and lay my frame right in the center covering over the hole that I've made by trimming it out. So I'll trim down my edge pieces and give you a look in a sec. And here you can see the basic layout. So I'm just going to um, distress the edges of my mat to go a little bit better with the picture and add some embellishments. So now I've added a little distress ink around the frame and adhered it to my layout. Because I've planned a two-page spread for this uh, layout, I think that I will put the word children across the top here and festival along the bottom um, for my title. And so now that I've added these really cool felt letters to my layout for my title, I'm going to pull one of my favorite tricks and I'm going to use a matching orange marker to outline my letters to make them pop from the background. And so now that I've outlined my letters, I think they pop out a little bit nicer. I'm just going to add one little embellishment, a bow, and that's my completed page. The journaling will go on the other page with the rest of the title.